guys say welcome back thanks for clicking so why do muslim fast as a non-muslim i'm so 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 curious i really want to know i'm so eager to know why muslim fast because i believe muslim fast like four to five times a year but why is it so why is that they have special special months in with the fast and what do they indicate so let's check it out Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When Ramadan comes along, some people act as if a food festival has come to town. We have this type of food and that type and this appetizer and that. And Ramadan is actually a month of fasting. That means that the month is not about eating. The month is actually about feeding. Feeding the needy people, putting in the effort. The Prophet said, whoever feeds a fasting person, gets the reward of that fasting person with the same reward without taking away from that fasting person. So this Ramadan, don't focus so much on attending all these food festivals, focus on feeding the needy. What is the definition of fasting? If you ask the children, they will tell you fasting is when you don't eat and you don't drink from sunup until sundown. And sometimes a lot of adults use the same definition. That's it. That's all fasting is. Okay, that's it. Just fasting. Sun up, sun down, don't drink, don't eat. What happens then if I'm fasting and then I forget that I'm fasting and I eat? This is actually a true story. One Imam, he was invited to a buffet and he ate and drank and he had like cake and drinks and you know, buffet, you know, you, you know the rule when you go to a buffet, you either break even or you profit. So this guy profited, Alhamdulillah. He ate a whole lot. He said, then when I was totally done, then I remembered that I'm fasting. So does his fast count or not? Of course the answer is yes, it counts because he completely forgot. So that means it's got to be more than eating and drinking. So it's got to be something else. Of course a psalm, fasting means to abstain. So it's not just abstaining from eating and drinking, it's from all kinds of other things. It's from lying, it's from bad words, it's from cursing, it's from backbiting. Many people now their main concern is what goes into their mouth. These are the people who exaggerate. Once they make wudu, they'll spit like a hundred times to make sure there's no wetness left in their mouth whatsoever. Nothing goes down the throat. Even though in the Sharia, a little bit of wetness is ma'fu, it's pardoned, it's not an issue. But they exaggerate. Some people even tell you, and this is all wrong, but they tell you, don't shower in Ramadan because, you know, water will come in through your ears. I mean, who drinks through their ears anyways? So just exaggerations. Yeah. And don't go, don't use perfume. Uh, don't smell food, don't, you know, if you pass by the kitchen, hold your breath. All these exaggerations, just making sure nothing goes inside. But they don't care what comes outside. So they're lying in the middle of the day in Ramadan. They're backbiting, they're spreading rumors, they're cursing, they're saying all kinds of horrible things. And they think fasting is, nothing goes in here. And as long as that's the case, then I'm fasting. The acts of worship, one of their aims is to improve our manners. And we see this across the board with all kinds of acts of worship. With fasting, it's very clear and very pronounced because the Prophet ﷺ taught us that if you're fasting and someone is fighting with you or cursing you or anything like that, you say out loud, inni sa'imun, inni sa'imun. I am fasting, I am fasting. You say it out loud also so they hear and maybe they'll be put to shame a little bit and refrain from you know, their animosity or their fighting towards you. So the purpose of fasting also is to improve and have an impact on our mannerisms and our akhlaq. So remember that when you're fasting, it's not about what goes in only, but it's also about what comes out. And what comes out can be far more serious than what goes in. So be sure in this month in Ramadan, you're very, very careful about what you say. You're very, very careful with your tongue. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow, that was very short, guys. That was so short. What I could get from here is the example you gave and it didn't really explain why they really fast. I think this one is for Ramadan season. But I thought it was going to give us why they fast in general. Like generally, you know, apart from the Ramadan season, they fast with ED. They have like two ED or so. You get it? So I was expecting to, I was expecting him to explain what each of this fasting signifies. But I think it just picked one of the fasting, which is Ramadan, explained to us. And it let us understand that when you're fasting don't be distracted even though when you go out to an occasion where food and food are, are being shared don't try to be tempted i think when you're fasting you're in that kind of midst of people you're in the midst of people that 
they are eating food you is either you take your portion and put it inside a pack you know a container they take take it home then when you break your fast then you eat now for you to just eat because the crowd are doing it but you you know the purpose of of you fasting so no matter where you find yourself you should be able to cope me i don't believe in that thing that they will say oh i don't want to sense food if i sense food i'll be hungry if i know i'll break my fast I don't like the way he said don't use perfume. Why would you use perfume? Like it's not that you are mourning or you are there's something bad going on. You know, fasting is a is a thing of joy. So when you're fasting, you should be able to control yourself. You should be able to be in any atmosphere at any point in time. You even though you are in a place where people are cooking different delicacy, you should not be tempted. You should not be tempted. And that was beautiful to what like I love the way he just explained, you know, gave an example of a man that actually broke his fast and, you know, and I'm sure it's because of, maybe he was thinking of what people would say or I don't know, or he was thinking of what, how people would see him, maybe that's why he actually broke his fast and that was beautiful to watch, like, I wish this man went deeper. I think I'm going to search more on this particular video because I re I'm really, really interested in it, I want to know why they actually fast. They fast like four to five times, if I'm not wrong, yearly. Why do they fast? I think there was a, there's a particular fast, one of the fast I know of. There's one that is called Ramadan. They will fast during Ramadan. I think that was, I think that's their biggest celebration. I don't know. I'm just saying. And I, there's one that is called. And they did one ED something in which um, the day uh, Ibrahim, that is Abraham, tried to sacrifice his son Isaac so they get a day for that day to celebrate Ibrahim for you know not sacrificing his son I think that that's what I heard though I don't know much about that but that's what I heard this is so beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment I'll see you in the next one bye